I'm with the good one. I'm, I'm not riding bedboards or else. We'll be a 300 pound man and give him a push. If I'm supposed to ride back with my wife, he's push his stupid. I would barge into a forward seat because I can't do it. Yeah. Not kind of day. Yeah. We're drunk. That ain't, this is the uh, Mar Maryland Route 17 Potomac River Bridge. I can't handle riding backwards, by the way. Can you hear me? I said I can't handle riding backwards on these things. Or I could get a headache. I'm not kidding. No, I had a big one once. <laughs> I love it. Things ain't things. Oh, yeah. This is good. Yeah. It's big. Well, we gotta be care careful of this junction. Shenandoah Junction. You know, there's things are fun. I was. This is the upper level. Diesels are better. Man, it's awesome. Watch mine. There's the S44 AC-8 3393. He's waiting for instructions. Along a 3274. And 5356, the ES44 DC-8. The, these guys have flammable liquid. These are fuel tankers as they're loaded up in here. He's waiting for a crew. This is how they do it. Yeah, the, uh, and only these bar levels can do this. Told me to. We'll have to do a switch room when we hit Shenandoah Junction, okay? I mean, this train breaks the halt because I can't handle it. Or I could trigger a headache. These these fuel tankers carry oil. If you look carefully, that's oil in them. That, most mostly oil. Not not the, these. These are oil. These are oil. 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 That most of these use oil. We don't want to make any mistakes of oil or any other flammable liquids, or else bang, you would be in a heap of trouble that way. And I ain't kidding, because I can tell you, some guy learned his lesson in my near me the bad way. I'm, these, these free diesels are waiting for a crew. And that's all they got. And if you see them with the diesel engine shut off, that's how you know. Or if they don't have a headlight going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you found something? Really? I got it. Here. This is the oil. I sure am. Oh. I'm the wildest rail fan in the world. A lot of people call me the wildest one in the world. In fact, in fact, 85 Striver team. Miles. Miles rhymes with smiles. Aha. Yes, he's going to be a big rail fan like me too. Look at that. 
Miles. Because he's got. Doug likes chains too. Ah. Are you six? Makes me a. Makes me a dumbbell. My first year was when I was four. Which is 2001. I was a And also remember these. These fuel tankers have to have a covered hopper at both ends. That's the people from jackknifing. And protect the locomotives, of course, if something goes wrong. Yeah, these. We got run the last couple cars soon. Well, the very longest I've seen was 200 cars, but it only was mixed freight. So, well, this ain't this ain't mixed freight. This is flammable liquid. And of course, uh, but my very but my very longest I've ever seen was uh, the Lewis in a coal train tied in that length once with helpers. That's why you sometimes see them in the rear. It's only these, this mark train is moving. The freight is not. Because they gotta wait for a crew. It's gonna take a while, but they sometimes have to park them in a siding for... That's why this is called Darwin in track three. On the opposite line from us. This used to be the West Yard. Down here. Miles. Where do you live? That's a good, that's a good country to live in. Okay, as a well, you know, 28 and 24 goes moving quicker. Yeah, it's in America. I have a cousin who lives around Hilbert. Be careful. And here's that rear car now. That's what that, correct, that's what that's called, the buffer covered hopper. Call it the buffer covered hopper because that's one of the best ways I can call it. Yeah, that's to help keep those fuel tankers from having a problem. If, that way it separates the locomotives from them. Last thing you want is a loud bang. I'm not kidding. All right, I'll let you know when we're. I'll let you know when we're parallel to the river. This mark passenger diesel. You'll have to make sure you prepare yourselves for the next band. That's Weaverton. Weaverton is where the four tracks come together, and it comes to. Oh. And there they are now. The two tracks are now coming together. And that's now two again. This is the four. All four tracks are together now. From track one. Oh. This is Weaverton. This is Weaverton. Yes. Yes. That's the town's name, Weaverton. Cumberland sub runs from Corner Rocks to Cumberland. Just west of Brunswick is Weaverton. And then from here you come to Sandy Hook. And after that, five miles further is Harpers Ferry. And Harpers Ferry is five miles from Brunswick. That will be operating today for the Brunswick Railroad Days. I'm Sean Robinson from Operation Lifesaver. Now, on today's trip, we're going to see a lot of sights. So I'll say boom, along the line. Especially going through tunnels and over bridges. That tunnel is Harpers Ferry. So, what I'm here for is to tell you how to be safe when you're around train. And I can tell you, it's not to scare you, but it's just to inform you. What you so need to do is stop and check the traffic. 
at every crossing. Or else now, whack. Every three hours, <laughs> you don't want to get clobbered. Something occurs between a train and a car or a train and a person. Now you don't want to get clobbered. The train wins. Staying off the statistics that are gained throughout the entire country. What is that? That means the train wins. That means the train wins. If anything goes up against the train, the train wins. This is my... Here's the west end of Weaverton. There was a railroad crossing. I saw a railroad crossing. And this road will go to... This... Around this bend is Sandy Hook. When you see that big green bridge, that's Sandy Hook. Only rail can help here. Well, I don't Just close until the 11th of December. That's what I'm getting rolling again. Just be glad it's not closed for six months or greater. We can't do it for longer than three months, they tell you. That would be too dangerous. They're not kidding. Unless it's real bad. And I'll tell you that around this bend here is uh, Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook is located just east of Harvest Ferry. Just a couple hundred, half a mile east. So prepare yourself here in a minute. If you see a low hanging green, if you see a green bridge, that's what I'm talking about. And there's the biggest river in the state of Maryland, the Potomac River. See that? This is it, the biggest river in the state of Maryland, the Potomac River. That's the Potomac. The biggest in the state of Maryland, I'm telling you. It's the biggest. Remember, this one's biggest in the state of Maryland. It really is, I'm not kidding. In the state of Maryland, by the way. Don't forget to mention the state. Not until we exit that tunnel. I'll let you know when we're coming close to it. And that will be after this bridge that we're going under, which is the big, which is this green bridge that 340 uses, which beyond there are temporarily shut down for repairs. Upper level of the coach, yeah. That's what you gotta call it. Of the coach. Yes, of the coach. Yes, this is the upper level of the coach. I'm not kidding. If you see a stairwell there, that gives you clues to the upper level of the coach. That's what he means. Alright, get ready. We're, this is the bridge I'm talking about. That's Free 40 Potomac River Bridge. And this is Sandy Hook that we're in now. And just around. That'll be any minute, any second now. Get ready. You'll see some old homes here. And now we're just outside the east portal of Harper's Ferry Tunnel at this time. Get ready. We're just outside the east portal now. When you see a very low hanging bridge, that's what I'm talking about. Just shy of the tunnel, that's what I'm talking about. Out. Well, just beyond this set of crossovers is that tunnel. Tunnel. The tunnel is at any second now. It's it's not as long as others, but it's longer than Pointer Rocks Tunnel. I'm telling you. Even though Sand Patch Tunnel is the longest one on CSX. It's 4,475 feet. My eyes are open. Well, left is the Potomac River. And now, as we approach the tunnel coming into Harper's Ferry. Now, remember, a lot of people love to walk through tunnels. But you always have to remember that the tunnels are made for a certain thing, which will be a train. There are tracks, remember there will be trains. 
Trains on way. This is it. This is it. Beyond this tunnel, and when we exit, you'll find a huge truss bridge over there. You're gonna find a truss bridge when we exit. And now, as we go through the tunnel, we should be crossing over the Potomac River. And remember, if there's a bridge for train time, there it is. Let's not cross the bridge. There's the. The bridge still, with the train tracks is made for the train. This, and take a look at both of you on both sides. There's the B&O bridge there. This is the double track main that we're on. See the difference? Now you see the difference? This is it. Five miles west of Harpers Ferry. Five miles west of Brunswick stands Harpers Ferry, and this is it. And I stayed, I stood on that bridge once. There's the beautiful Amtrak station there. And also down here, they use an old baggage car for a uh, restaurant cart. And this here, that crossing down there is a uh, leads to campsites. This crossing leads to a campsite. And then a mile west of here will stand Peter's Mill. Automatic two longs, a short and long. That's what it is with these trains. Automatic two longs, a short and long. Each crossing, automatic two longs, a short and a long. Automatic two. Look at me, automatic two longs, a short and long. Around this bend, if you see a low road bridge under us, that's Peter's Mill. The location is called Peter's Mill. That's a mile west of here. That's what you have to call it. And then we have a crossing called Angle Switch Road Crossing. Just give me a clue of this line. Because I've been on this one for years. Oh yeah, you've done it before. Yes, ever since 2001. And of course, when I went to Cumberland in 2015 with 955, this is where I went. I was on this line. Yeah. And normally it wouldn't allow this, but because they were showing me how nice the stuff was, that was different. You can't argue with those crews. You can't argue, well, you never argue with a rail crew. Yeah. I'm not kidding, because they will turn you in really quick. <laughs> they will. Be careful. <laughs> I, I enjoy them. I'm just. If you look here, these rock cliffs were actually carved automatically. Two miles from here, you'll. This is Peter's Mill that we're at. And you can even see the Potomac River from here, too. Look at that. There's 20, 24 growling in front, around this side. As you can see to the right of our train, down at the Potomac River, it's on the right side. Ah, uh, phone's going to be free. This is just around this bend. Just around this bend will be Peter's Mill. We made it there. So now we're getting ready to be at, uh... Just be glad I know this route by heart. We disappeared. We're magical. I know this route by heart because this is the oldest one of CSX. You may have noticed. I'm not kidding, it really is. It's the very old. If you look from Curtis Bay Yard to Front Corner Rock Station, that's an old mainline sub. And this is the this is Peter's Mill that I'm talking about here. Just down there. Of course, we have Ingle Switch Road crossing for the next crossing. And then we'll have Reason Road crossing. Oh, crossing. Up ahead is a... Uh, I warned him. Mm -hmm. As you close the 
We're approaching the angle switch road crossing around this S curve. Around this S curve, this is it. See? I told you I know this route by heart. You see guys, I know this route by heart. I've done this for many years. Since 2001. I actually had, well in 2015, when they had to do a different kind of excursion, 955 brought me CSX diesel. They had to send that one because uh, they, I needed a shortcut to Cumberland. Normally they wouldn't allow that, but because of the circumstances, this was different. They wanted to show me how nice the, the, the Magnolia cutoff looked like, which is located uh, from Orleans Road Crossing. To milepost 155. I do. Of course, uh, even though we're going no further than 89, it's still nice. This is, and boy, only difference 955 went faster. He was going about 70 miles an hour. Uh, if you see a, a, a big steel girder overpass, that is Shenandoah Junction. Yay! That's all I can tell you. I know this. That's how I know where we are. Well, we got Reeds and Road Crossing on a straight area up ahead. Well, Ingle Switch Road Crossing would be just before it. That's Ingle Switch Road Crossing. I've been. This is the route where. Yeah, that's what that is. Ingle Switch Road Crossing. Oh, wait a minute, Reedson. Look, it's the Old Town Turnpike. That's Reedson. Wait a minute. That could be Ingle Switch Road. My mistake. Sorry. I couldn't tell very well. Absolutely not. Yeah. The name on there is double track and the gates are still down. You know you have another one not far behind. Wait for them to go up and the lights to turn completely off because there may be another train. See what I mean? Those are one train cleared. Expect another. That's what he means. If you see one cleared, expect another. Because you do not want to get clobbered. And and I ain't kidding. The train would win. There's a Thomas C2. Now, next up, we'll have Duffield's not long after. Just before Shenandoah Junction is Duffield's. We see a wooden platform on my end. This crossing up here is. That's just the car's wheels making that noise. They can't help it. They gotta hold the weight. This is Reedson Road Crossing. Oh, this long straight here. We're almost there. We still have Duffields and Shenandoah Junction. We got two miles to go. I know this route by heart. Just be glad you got on the guy who knows the one. I can't predict. Not in. Up ahead, well, Spearsville used to be an area, but around this bend is Duffields. We're gaining Duffields, which is just around this bend. 
Right here, 28 horn, you'll know we're at the field. Next crossing. And you look for a wooden platform from the eastbound side. Too busy enjoying. Just around that pen is Duffields. I mean, Duffields will be the next to last stop around here before Martinsburg. Break it usually. Usually when 25 goes towards the train 75 continues to Martinsburg. After Harpers Ferry comes Duffields. And then uh, they race through Shenandoah Junction, but we'll be holding it there. There it is. Almost there. There's Duffields just below us. This is Duffields. That's what they named this place. And now just around the bend to Shenandoah Junction from here. I ain't kidding. We're getting hot to Shenandoah Junction. We're getting hot to Shenandoah Junction. That's just around this bend. That's the diesel head. Any man with the diesel's over here. We'll switch to the cab car on the return. That switch there leads to is a siding. I'm glad they still keep this in place, just in case something goes wrong. And this is why they call it Shenandoah Junction. This switch just below me. Well, I do expect this kind of. We don't know it better. We're almost there. We got two overpasses to go. You know that section will need to be rebuilt. Now we head under Norfolk Sovereign. And we cross these two crossings. This crossing here is a bridge road crossing and the R1 Springs Road crossing. The whole Beyond Springs Road crossing. That's when we're going to hold that. Springs Road crossing. <laughs> Over here, you're gonna, you'll also see some of the there's some horses on this side too. Two of them. And there it is. Springs Road crossing. Oh, and once the cab car passes that signal, it will hold it. And this will conclude before it returns. Yeah.